This video will demonstrate how to modify existing SEs from the master list or create your own custom SE. To modify an existing SE from the master list, first add it to the assessment data editor from the SE definitions tab. Use the build headers function to schedule all SEs on this tab or use the drop down list for the SE name field, which displays only the SEs added to the SE definitions tab in this trial. Next, make the desired changes to the contents of the fields. This can include editing the SE description, changing the part rated or rating type, etc. Please note the SE name is not editable at this time, but you will enter it later. Your modified SE is now ready to be saved, but first we explain how to create a custom SE. To create a custom SE, we recommend opening a previous protocol or trial that contains assessment header information you wish to save as a template. You can also fill an empty assessment data column with the information you wish to include in the SE. Follow these tips for creating a successful SE. Do not save field entries that are specific to one trial or rating that should be filled out by the researcher. For example, the rating date. Use ARM's list of options to increase consistency for data collected. Be sure to include part rated, rating type, and rating unit for a complete description of what is performed. Once you have finished modifying or creating the assessment, right click in the column and choose Export SE. ARM will guide you through saving the SE as a template for future use. The first step of the wizard is to choose which assessment data columns to include. One or more columns can be selected if it is logical to bundle together. Click OK. Next, ARM displays the study rules that are tied to the assessment columns you have selected. These study rules will be included in the SE. Click OK. ARM allows you to choose which rows or header lines from the assessment columns to include in the SE. Pick the components that are the same for every time you complete this assessment. If the incorrect SE name information is present, do not select this row. The next step allows you to rename the SE. Click OK. Choose a name for your SE, which is saved with a file extension of .se, short for Standard Evaluation. Click OK. ARM gives the option to include a longer description for the SE. This is saved to the SE description header field if it was empty. Click OK. 
ARM displays a data export successful message to indicate the SE was successfully created. The newly created or modified SE appears in your favorites list. You can also send the .se file to other ARM users to ensure consistency across your group. Contact GDM for more information about this.